Uh, my name's Johnny and I've uh, been out here today looking around, taking some shots of the scenery around here down in Cornwall. Um, it's looking really stunning today, lovely sunlight and beautiful sky. Um, now I've taken a load of photos on the camera here and uh, what we're going to do today is, is have a look and, and see how you can recover photos if by an accident or whatever I had uh, managed to delete these photos off this card before I'd managed to get back and back them up on my computer um, how I could go about recovering those photos. So what we're going to do now quickly is I'm going to uh, carry on walking along we're going to get a few more photos and uh, then we can get when we get back down to the car we can have a look on the camera and see what uh, what photos we got so see you down there okay so here we are at the uh, end of our little walk and um, I've got some photos I'll just have a quick run through with you um, so I'm no great photographer but these are just a few images that we can use to go through and delete and um, then we can see how to get them back should we need to get them back so that's the images and then what I'll do now is while you're looking we'll format the card if I go down to erase all I can erase all so erase all images there you go click OK and there you go that's it no images left on the card so uh, I need some help now with this one so let's get back and see if we can get the uh, recovery software ready to go Hiya and uh, this is Johnny and we're here to have a look and see how downloading card recovery can help you uh, recover lost images on your SD cards. Now the idea of, of the first um, initial free trial is so that you can download the software, get it run through on your SD card and uh, see what pictures you're likely to be able to recover or you will be able to recover um, before you actually pay for the software. So. What we'll do is we'll go straight to the website now. It's www.cardrecovery.org and run, go through to the website, and here you are on the Card Recovery website. Um, there's a few things you can look at through here if you want to go through um, a tutorial um, to get some more info um, about the, the software and that kind of thing but uh, we'll just run straight into the, the free trial download. So click on your um, free trial download down here and it'll take you through to the download page and on our Explorer obviously we have to verify the download. So you download the file from here you can click run. If you want to save it onto your computer somewhere and then find it later and run it at a later date, that's absolutely fine. Just click save and then save it somewhere on your hard drive. But in this case, we'll click run. And it starts recovery, uh, starts downloading. And then, yes, you want to run it. So you run it. And here you are straight into the install. So just as normal, just run through the install, click the accept the agreement and you can read through the agreement if you like but there's a lot of text there and it's just standard stuff so click next find the file you want to uh, download it onto in this case we'll just go C and program files in there with card recovery so we click next you can create a desktop icon here if you want which means you can shortcut to it straight off your desktop um, and I won't do that um, next and there you go straight away and then you can go straight into launching it so uh, click finish and it will launch your card recovery software straight up and easy there you go right. so now what we've got to do is uh, read the card now on some cameras it will plug straight into your computer and uh, the computer will mount the card uh, as, a, as a drive so that you can then direct the, the software uh, to, to scan it for any of the images um, if for any reason your camera doesn't work on your computer as a, as a separate drive, you can use one of these. It's a, a multi-card reader. Um, what it does is literally just means you can plug your cards into your computer. It's a little um, USB port and you just plug the cards in there and then it will read them. Or in the case of this uh, laptop, you've got a um, card reader 
here anyway, so it's got its own card reader. So what I'll do is I'll just put the card in there. Okay, so here we have the uh, drive open, and as you can see, this is the file which has got our pictures in, or did have the pictures in, and if I double click on that, open it up, it's empty. So what we've got to do is now scan, uh, get our card recovery program up, and start the scanning process. Um, this will enable us to scan and preview, uh, preview what photos you're going to get. So what we'll do first off is you click Next and start the scanning process you need to point your computer or point the program to the drive that has got the card in it in my case it's J uh, you might have a different drive but uh, for me it's J so I'll click J and then you can choose your camera brand file type um, it just for the um, file names it helps the, the program find out you know which which is which but generic is uh, fine for, for most cases so generic digital camera and photos because I'm looking for photos it just helps the program nail down what it's looking for um, so you've got photos you can do movies if you're looking for movies or sound um, but like I said in this case we're looking for photos and again destination folder make sure you know where it's going to actually dump the files once it's recovered them for you so in my case again it's C drive card recovery so let me click next and this is where uh, you set the file size to scan so you tell the computer how big or tell the program how big the uh, storage medium is the SD card is and in my case again it's 4 gig card which turns out to be 3773 megabytes so uh, I will start that it takes a little while to scan through all that so uh, I'll start it and um, see you in a second and here we are the scans run um, and as you can see we have managed to recover uh, a few files and uh, what we do is if you want to see a preview of the files you've you've managed to recover you click through to next and on here you've got a little uh, recovered file list and you can preview them um, six at a time so we'll have a look see what we've managed to recover there's those six and onwards see it's it's recovered most of the file, in fact all the files that are on the card and there's a lot more besides um, what we took this morning um, so to what I'm going to do is recover just the ones that we've uh, took the photos of this morning so I need to deselect all because I don't want to recover every file on there um, and then I'm going to just pick the files I want to recover and go to the next lot and again pick the files I want to recover and then click next and here we are this is where you can no longer um, run with the evil evaluation version um, because that will show you which files you can recover but it won't actually let you recover them so at this point now you'll need to um, either enter key if you've already got a key or buy now if you click buy now it will take you through to the website where you enter all your information um, and your card details and that kind of thing so to buy the software um, we've already done that and we've already had an email back from card recovery with our um, key number so if I click enter key um, you see you can go through the um, purchase process there now as well but if I enter the key uh, that's the key I've been sent um, it's in an email that you get back from them so I click OK and there you go, registration succeeded, got a license number and we're all good to go. So click OK, it'll take me back to here. So I just need to click check that I'm recovering the photos I want to recover. Got all those ticked and all those ticked, yep. So then click next and this time it will go through and you can see in your open folder over here where it's going to recover them too, it's already recovered. Um, the images so then I click finish and we're back to step one so if you want to go through find another card and recover images off then you can do that in this case what I will do is have a look on here and see what images we have managed to recover As you can see we have recovered the photos that we deleted off the card earlier on and I've just double click on it and there you can see it's uh, 
not lost any quality or anything. It's uh, perfectly well recovered. <laughs>